Okay, here we get type of equation which seems to be kind of reversed. So we have our coefficient of x squared to be negative 1, the coefficient of x to be negative 1, and the constant here to be 20. Let's go for the 20, which is the constant, okay? So how can we get 20? 20 can be gotten by saying 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. Those are only possible combinations which we can get at 20. Okay, so that's good. Now, let's go for the B. B is a negative 1. Can we combine 1 and 20 to get negative 1? No. Can we combine 2 and 10 to get negative 1? No. Can we combine 4 and 5 to get negative 1? Let's see. 5 minus 4, that's 1. We don't want 1, we want a negative 1. So let's reverse. 4 minus 5, negative 1. Excellent. This gives us a negative 1, which we are looking for here so now if we multiply these two and we can get a, a negative x x then it, it will work but what we do now for prove this is that we say a times c will give us a negative value and if that gives us a negative constant then that that will work so let's see what's the value of of a negative one what's the value of c 20 so it gives a negative 20 so yes that will work so we go now and put now our combinations 4 to be positive and our 5 to be negative so we put here um, 20 plus 4x minus 5x minus x squared what's coming in the first two terms we put 4 4 into 20 5 and x to the sign of the first two term of the first term here which is negative five so we put x here okay no sorry about that we keep the x outside and we put the five inside and negative x into negative x squared we get a positive x so we bring down the four minus x and since five plus x is common we put five plus x those are the examples which we covered this week so i hope this helps you the class with our working that you have studied review it